Hello everyone and welcome back to another long play video. This video is going to have minimal to no editing and it's going to be perfect to play in the background while you're cleaning or doing some kind of task or maybe you're playing Minecraft or trying to go to sleep. And also I'm playing on easy mode just because I want this long play to be as chill as possible. But I think that's about all I need to say. So this is where we spawned. This is a completely random seed. And also this is a better Minecraft long play. So it seems like we spawned near one of these windmills, which is not ideal because they are full of lots of bad guys. So we won't be venturing over there. And it seems like we have a village here and then maybe another village here. So that's kind of cool. At least we can get a bed right away. And then we spawn right on top of this redwood tree. So maybe we can just dig down or something and then we can collect wood this way. Kind of cool that we spawned right on top of a tree. Literally right on the edge so far up. But I hope that we can find a cool place to base and there's going to be lots of cool things in this world. That's one cool thing about just like starting new worlds is you can just explore them and it's all a surprise like you have no idea what's right around the corner so hopefully we find lots of cool things so far it seems like we just have lots of forests and plains which is just a little bit boring but hopefully we can find something cool right around the corner and also if you do like this kind of video then definitely let me know down below just so that I know whether or not I can or I should be making more videos like this. So definitely let me know. I know that it's hard to find. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get so much wood though. Um, but I know it's hard to find long play videos with commentary. I feel like usually you see them without commentary, which makes so much sense because talking for like three hours straight or however long your video is, that's definitely quite a task. And you're also editing out nothing. So if you lose your train of thought and like you don't know what else to say, like it's in the video whether or not you like it. So uh, I definitely understand the appeal of being able to not talk and like also edit your videos. But you know, this is the beauty of the long play, the way of the long play. Okay, so we are getting closer to the ground. That's fantastic. We're gonna have so much wood. Oh. Okay, well we are on easy. However, it looks like we have um, attracted a bad guy. So that's really not ideal, is it? And they're also very speedy bad guys. They're super, super fast. So we have to be careful about how we wanna go about this. So maybe... We can just like travel via the tree and hopefully he can't get up here because if he can then we're a goner <laughs> because they're so strong those zombie villagers oh he can't get up here okay well so far so good this is going well my heart is racing right now. Those guys scare me so bad. Okay, I think that we've already lost him a little bit. <sighs> These, like, farmer villagers, they scare me so bad. They don't burn in the sunlight because they're wearing little hats. And they carry hoes. And they're so strong. Okay. Well, we avoided that situation. So that's great. I don't think he's coming after us. Oh, boy. Uh, and because villagers, they can, like follow you from so far away so i don't know they just like discover you instantly okay well we got some onions so that's fun we got our bed so we don't have to worry about that uh there's lots of little kitties here let's see what else there's a waste on it we'll go ahead and look at this the village is called hepa action j I don't know. These names are so weird and I don't know how to say any of them. And like even the villagers names, like Onyx Cohort, like that's a cool name. But just for a little old Minecraft villager, it sounds like kind of a pretty epic name, honestly. For just a little Minecraft villager. But hopefully we can find 
like anything else cool. You know, some food would be nice. Some potatoes. I don't think there are any loot chests inside of those things. It looks like we have a beekeeper over this way. Hello, Mickey, the beekeeper. We do have some apples. So that's good. We might have to eat the apples because do they even have like a farm over this way? Wow, this village is definitely lacking. There's a donkey over there. So cute. Looks like we have a little palm tree. I wonder if we should go over to this village. That's what I'm thinking because hopefully it will have some more food and just some more things that will give us a better head start because so far, not a great start if I'm being completely honest. Getting chased by one of those farmer villagers and then not really getting any food. Like the onions are cool, but also just like, oh yeah, I can't run anymore. But just the thought of eating a raw onion does not sound appealing. So, you know, maybe we won't do that. Maybe we'll just plant it and it'll be cute in the ground. But I need to go this way to go to that village. It looks like there's another zombie villager, but hopefully he's not one of those farmer ones. He might just be like in the ground somewhere. But this allium field is so pretty. And there's like a little birch forest over that way. Lots of little cows. I love the black and white cow. It's so cute. Uh, apparently we have a creeper like right underneath us so that's cool lots of mobs maybe i should play on peaceful oh there's that okay oh they have it like right in their village that's so unfortunate there's is that a second one okay that's the one we spawned by and then there's another one honestly i have a few things to say about better minecraft and the longer I play it, the more I don't like it, honestly. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. It goes straight to Deep Slate. There are some spiders on there. I'm looking for diamonds. That'd be cool, right? Honestly, I don't have any real goals of getting diamonds. Um, but anyways, the longer that I play Better Minecraft, the more I hate it. It's not, okay, I don't hate it. Uh, oh. Oh, did a villager die? In better Minecraft, there are these villagers who protect the village. And it's kind of looks like this is the gear that they were wearing. They had a little bit of bread with them and a crossbow. And here's another waystone, Vofu Muko. Got it, cool. Anyways, what I've been trying to say, I just, I don't hate better Minecraft. But I, ooh, look at this little mushroom house. All the redstone torches, it's so cute. There are some white puffball mushrooms, um, some of these wood bluet mushrooms. Ooh, a weeping milk cap. That's so cool. And lots of, ooh, a forager's table. That's fun. And then lots of little bookshelves. Should we take the bookshelves? We haven't even made tools. What are we doing? Let's try to make some tools first. But I don't hate better Minecraft. It's just, I really like vanilla Minecraft. I feel like that's pretty much what it is, honestly. I just, I really appreciate the simplicity of vanilla Minecraft. Um, it's just so simple and it's so predictable. Like you already know what's gonna happen and th there's no like question about it, you know? Like you can, for example, in my better Minecraft Let's Play, I made a sugarcane farm and I wanted to do it without the rails. And I think typically you can use mud to uh, like put items through that block into a hopper. So you don't necessarily have to do the rails, but you can't do that in, in better Minecraft because mud dries. 
and it, it th just like small things like that make better minecraft unpredictable and make it to where you can't even plan a simple farm you know like there's just so many changes i guess to it that make it to where you can't really plan things and it's just different from vanilla minecraft you know which obviously it's modded minecraft but i just honestly i love the predictability of vanilla minecraft and the simplicity of it but here i am literally playing better minecraft it's not that i don't it's not that i hate it i just honestly think i prefer vanilla minecraft better maybe i don't know well definitely but i don't hate it okay i don't hate it but let's go ahead and get ourselves a full set of stone tools finally we got a little distracted there for a second but i do want to like focus on getting some tools so now we'll make a shovel make some more sticks and then we need an axe and a hoe and i think that's it inventory is getting a little messy but it'll just be like that sometimes and then i'm just going to get these bookshelves because i want to put them in my house thank you villagers and i'll take my crafting table back these mushrooms are really cool. I would love to learn about mushrooms in real life and be able to like forage for my own mushrooms. Wouldn't that be so cool? And like know which mushrooms are poisonous out in the wild and which ones you can like bring home with you and cook up or something. I don't know. I just think mushrooms are so cool and there's so many different kinds of them. Actually, I have this mushroom log in my apartment and it's just a log that has like mushroom spore like ingrained into it i guess so if you like wet the log then it will sprout mushrooms and that's so cool i definitely i've grown some mushrooms before out of that log um and i haven't done it recently because it is okay it's a log in your in your apartment and i'm just like what am i supposed to do with this log and it just like takes a little bit of it doesn't take that much work honestly i think i'm just saying that i'm lazy and i i don't want to babysit this log but i just haven't done it i've done it one time and it grows shiitake mushrooms and i actually cook them and everything which is kind of cool let's grab some carrots and some potatoes uh but yeah i like cook them and we ate them i think it was i made like fajitas out of my little shiitake mushrooms that grew from my mushroom log so you like soak it in cold water and you have to soak it in your bathtub or like if you have a big bucket but i don't have a big bucket so i soaked it in my bathtub and ooh, okay there's like some basalt over here i want to go somewhere cool you know so let's keep on going west but yeah you soak the log and then you have to thump it because you're supposed to like reenact a log falling from a tree and so you're supposed to like thump the log so that it like wakes up the little mushrooms and then they start growing it's literally as simple as that but then you have to like be without a bathtub for 24 hours or like 12 hours or for a long time and i just i haven't yet committed to that again so that is why I have only grown one fruiting of shiitake mushrooms. But there's my little mushroom story. I think mushrooms are cool. I like mushrooms. Ooh, this is really pretty over here. This biome. I was thinking about maybe possibly making some kind of like fisher house. If we spawn near like some kind of beach or like tropical place, we can make a little fishing house. Look at these orange daisies. Those are so cute. This is the, or this is a dacite ridge. That's kind of cool. And then this forest. Oh, it's this forest. Okay, this forest is also called a dacite ridge. Got it. I mean, it's kind of pretty, isn't it? These trees are holly logs. I don't think I've seen this biome yet in Better Minecraft. So it's kind of pretty, isn't it? Oh, imagine making a little cabin here. I think that'd be so cool. Ooh, and it has spruce trees, 
We love to see it. We love the spruce. I guess that is a just a regular spruce forest over that way. Ooh, or like a mega spruce forest. This is actually so cute. I think that my favorite biome to a basin in Minecraft is a forest. And also, look, we have some lush cave over that way. Well, I don't think we should probably go down here. This is uh, probably a little spooky and we have literally nothing. We have five pieces of bread, so we won't go down there. We'll just go back up here. Look at these crocus flowers. I do really like the textures in Better Minecraft. Whatever texture pack is used, I really like it. Oh, there's a skeleton. No. No, thank you. And I've tried to find out what texture pack this is, but I have no idea how to figure that out, honestly. And I've definitely tried. Uh, looks like we have some seashells, some pebbles. Cool. A cute little beach. Let's see what else we have. Okay, I think this is a pillager camp. So, that's no fun. Uh, maybe we'll go south from here. Because it looks like that could be potentially cool. And maybe we should make a boat. So I think that we will explore a little bit. And look around for a place to base. And then we will build a little starter house. And then that will pretty much be it for the long play. That's kind of my plan. A little redwood boat. But we should probably be base sooner rather than later just because I feel like I could literally explore forever I mean that would be a, that's a great long play idea I didn't really think about that but imagine having a long play video just where you explore wouldn't that be really cool and like kind of hunter and gatherer vibes I guess so you like I don't know we can make a sleeping bag and like cook little food every night, have little campfires. Wouldn't that be so fun? I think this is a, um, a mansion, like a woodland mansion thing. Yeah, definitely. If we see on the mini map, there's lots of bad guys over there. So we won't be going over there, I guess. And then this is the Hemlock Rainforest. I am very familiar with this Hemlock wood. I definitely built a lot with it before but it, look, it looks like there are some beaches over this way so i don't know i was thinking about building some kind of like fishing house so that could be cool potentially going over towards the beach oh and maybe i should grab some sweet berries and honestly maybe i should go ahead and grab some spruce wood Ooh, it definitely seems like oh look there's um Little turtles. There's our turtles over there. Okay, we're gonna go to that beach and check it out. And then there's some spruce trees right over near that beach, so we won't need to collect them just yet. But it looks like we have something here. Oh, like a little cart or something? But look at the turtles! There's a green one, and then there's also these blue ones. And then we have more seashells, but we have this cart over here. And usually I think these carts have really, really good loot. Yeah, look at all this food. I'm not going to grab it just yet because if we base here, we're, we're going to base like super close to the cart. So there's really no reason to grab it. Though I do need to find a way up, please. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's a cake. I am stuck. Um... Maybe I, I don't want to break the cake. Okay, let's go up a different way. Let's go up this way. There we go. Yeah, and see like all the potions. Like we have so many goodies here. We are set. We are set. This is so cool. Uh, Just, ooh, potion of water breathing. Wow, this will be so helpful. Oh, look, there's a way that you can get up here. Wow. But this will be so helpful for our start. And then it looks like we have a cute little well over this way. So fun. A little river. And then we have some coconut log, which is kind of this like yellowy orange color. And some ducks. So fun. 
Oh, I guess my boat is over this way. Oh, and a coconut. That's cool. And there are coconuts growing. Okay, here's my boat. I want to check out this little ocean or this little beach over this way. But the little turtles are just swimming around. There's the... Oh, it's just like some floating log, I guess. Okay, let's see over this way. Just some coconut trees. And then these are sea beets. More sea beets and more coconut trees. And then that's about it. Okay. Ooh, there's a pirate ship. Some more beach here. But honestly, I think it could be kind of fun to build here. Perhaps. And it could be cool to try to build with this coconut log. This palm log, I honestly don't really like the color of it. It looks like a very gray kind of log. And I'd rather something a little bit warmer, I guess. So maybe we'll do the coconut log. And then we can see what else looks good with it. And I really hate to like... Wait, can you just plant the coconuts? Coconut slice. Is this how you plant the tree? No, it's not, but you can eat it. Okay, let's chop this tree down. Ooh, oh, the coconut fell? That's cool. Oh, but is there a sapling? Hmm, can I like put it in here? No. Maybe what I do is I don't let the coconut fall and I just try to get the coconut itself. What about that? Like this? No, it just turns into the slice. Can I like harvest it? It says it's mature, but I think that just means you can eat it. But if I right click, nothing happens. You just kind of harvest it. Okay, well, as much as I would like to build with this wood, I honestly don't know how to. Unless we just got really unlucky and didn't get any saplings from it. Let's try to chop down this tree, I guess. Um, oh, sapling. Okay, I think we just got unlucky. So we can indeed grow these coconut trees. And where would I like to put my house? Hmm, it would kind of be cool to do it like right by the water, right? I think that'd be cool. Oh, look. Oh my gosh, look at him swim. It's so cute. Oh, what is that? Uh, is it a beluga whale? Is that what it's called? I'm honestly not sure. Or a mantis? Is that a mantis? I always get them mixed up. On it, oh, there's a coconut crab. I kind of want to build it right there. I think that's a pretty good flat place to build it. So maybe we'll do that. Oh, there's a coconut crab here too. I think the crabs are so cute. Look. Oh, and they're so big too. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, well, let's get my bed. And, or my boat, not my bed, my boat. And go on over this way. And try to come up with a block palette. I think that is step one. We need to come up with a block palette. And honestly, we're pretty set on food. Because I do have 61 hay bales. And then all of this food in this car. So that's super cool. But I think that this would be a great place to build. This flat area right here. And we even have a coconut crab pet. But I'm going to go ahead and let's place the trees right here. And we'll, oh, that's a piece of cobblestone. But we'll place the trees here and here and we'll let them grow. Oh, I have three. And then we will um, harvest them and farm them here. Okay, so this coconut plank looks like this. So like I was saying, like a very yellowy, almost like an orangey. It kind of looks like the color of a banana a little bit. So does spruce even look good with that? Let's see. We'll just grab a little bit, turn it into a plank. I feel like spruce looks good with everything, honestly. It's just like a very neutral kind of block. Yeah, I think it looks good with that. What other kind of wood do we have around here? 
Of course we have this palm log, but again, I don't think I really like the color of it. Whoa, they're just multiplying. Why are there so many coconut crabs? We do have the hemlock. I always build with hemlock and I don't really want to continue building with hemlock. So maybe we won't do that. And it's also a very light color. I would almost like like dark oak just because I think it would be a nice trim and a nice accent block. I kind of think as maybe the coconut log or the coconut wood rather as like the main and then the spruce as like the supporting and then we need like one accent preferably but i don't know where we could find that um we did have the holly but again i think the holly is really light is this dark oak i mean i see little mushrooms but that does not mean it's dark oak necessarily. Hmm, do we really want to go all the way over there? I almost want to. Yeah, I kind of want to. I probably should have broke my boat. But let me go get the boat and then we'll, I guess, head over there. Because if that's dark oak, then we're set. It is dark oak that I want after all. So I think it's worth going over there and checking to see if it's dark oak. And it seems like the, yeah, the coconuts just fall. And yeah, there's so many coconuts. Whoa. Yeah, so many. They just fall and turn into food that you can eat. I guess we'll be eating some coconuts too. We have so much food. Ooh, new recipe unlocked. Oh, coconut husk. Oh, it's, it turns into a bowl. That's cool, I think. Let's see, cocoa nut. That's not how you spell coconut. Coconut. Well, um, I don't know. There is like a soup looking thing, but maybe it's just showing us that like we can put soup inside of coconut husk. Maybe that's what it's telling us. Whoa, all the, oh, and the little turtle. I've never bred turtles before, so I definitely want to do that at some point. Maybe in my 1.20 world I'll breed turtles, but I am missing out because you get like the little like turtle shell thing or like the, what is it called? I have no idea. Like a shuttle? What? I have no idea. But something like that. I just feel like there's so many things in Minecraft that I have not done yet. I just kind of stick to my like routine. Like I stick to what I know, I guess, in Minecraft and I just like do what I know. But I'm trying to branch out a lot more and just like experience different things. All of the ducks, so cute. I really like that one biome, that dacite, or however you say it, that biome is so cool. Honestly, I wanna build there, but I, I feel like I always build in a forest. So I wanna try, wanna try new things out. Never really built on a beach before, so I'd like to give that a go. Ooh, and the watercolor here too is really cool. And here's some basalt. If we ever need some, there's plenty right there. Basalt and smooth basalt and even concrete, it looks like. Okay, maybe we'll park here. This is kind of cool, right? Ooh, some deep slate. Yep, there's, oh, it's black sand. Okay, so not concrete powder. And it looks like there's some, like a strip of lava over that way. Ooh. Okay, note to self, we need to go a little bit more north so that we don't run into 
one of those farmer villagers again. We don't want that to happen. I wonder if they're ever going to do the birch. Oh, I think that this is what this biome is. With the, um, with the mushrooms, it's just birch. Oh, okay. Well, that's slightly disappointing. Not that I don't love birch, because I definitely do. Is this dark oak right here? Whoa, wait, is that dark oak? It is! Wow, am I going to get dark oak saplings? I am! Okay, cool. Well, I guess I am glad that I came over here. Uh, we have eight. Maybe we'll get another one. Oh, look! We, um, have a little... What are you? A reindeer! Can I ride you? Look! There are, like, three reindeer. Whoa! Can I ride you? Oh. Oh, you have to, like, befriend them. Well, I don't have a saddle, so... Uh... I'm sorry, reindeer. I would love to ride you, but I don't have a saddle. Okay, there we go. Ooh, did I bring my bed? I didn't bring my bed. Why would I do that? Ooh, we got so many dark oak saplings. Okay, I guess we hurry back since we don't have a bed. But anyways, what I was saying about the birch forest, I wonder if they're ever going to update the birch forest. Like they had originally planned. I don't know. I feel like they always like say these things that they're going to do and then they never do them. And I know it takes so much work to do it. So definitely not like faulting them for it. Oh, we have to go this way because there are those farmer villagers over there. But I wonder if they will. It was such a cool idea. I think it'd be so cool if they did do that. Run back home. Oh, the dog is so cute. I think that they need to do an update. Did I just leave my boat? In a random place? I think I did. Oh, it's right there. Okay, perfect. Um, I think they should do an update. Lost for words? What does that mean? I don't know. Where did I just, like, end up? I have no idea. Hopefully nowhere dangerous. But I think they should do an update where they just, like, like, make everything. Like, for example... Why are there no terracotta slabs? And there's a stray over that way. But why are there no terracotta slabs and stairs? Like, they need to do an update where they, like, make every block, pretty much, have its own, like, slab and stair. And I don't know. I just think that that would be so cool just to have an update to, and, like, a quality of life update just to make, just, like, change some things. I don't know i think that could be pretty cool um and then also dogs give like the recolors to dogs because just having one color of dog i don't know it's kind of sad especially since the cats are so cool they need it to like that doesn't have to be the whole update but part of the update i think that'd be cool to like just have like a revamp i guess of just the things that have been in the game for a long time. And I guess that's kind of like what the updates are, right? It's just like revamps, pretty much, of things that have been in the game for a while. Um, at least the updates that I have seen since I've been playing Minecraft, they're kind of just like revamps. You know, like changing the nether and like making that better and like even making in this update, making all of the little bits better like i'm just scared uh and i also have to find my bed oh it's right there it's been with me the whole time oh my gosh it's literally been in my hot bar this whole time 
How did I not see it? Okay, well... I can't believe it's literally been with me this whole time. That's so funny. But we do have some mobs here, so maybe I'll take care of them so they don't, like, sneak up on me or something. I know the spider won't, but, you know, we'll just take care of him. Definitely the creeper, but I don't really want to get too close because of the skeleton. We are playing on easy, so... Oh, don't... Look. Okay. So, that means things should be easier, right? All right, well, here is the newest addition to our block palette. I think that's perfect. Oh yeah, and then whenever you have like vanilla blocks and or like vanilla wood and you put them close together, they like connect like, like that. So I guess that's kind of cool, right? But I guess the next step here is to make a couple of chests. There, and then maybe just a couple more. Just because we have a lot of stuff now. And then... Let's go ahead and start planting these dark oak saplings, I think. And our coconut trees have not grown yet, so hopefully those grow soon. Because there's really not a good way to farm them, honestly. Maybe I'll clear out this area and I'll turn this into kind of my tree farm. Oh, sad. My axe broke. I'll have to make another one. Honestly, I don't even know if we're going to have any iron tools. Maybe we'll just, like, stick with stone tools? Am I gonna regret that? I don't know. Okay, just clearing out some space. And then now we can plant our dark oak saplings. Hopefully that grows. And then this one. Another one here. And then, honestly, like, we might just do a bit of deforesting for the spruce saplings because we have spruce trees everywhere. So, we don't really need to farm them necessarily. But I guess we should probably clear out this inventory a bit. Um, we'll put wood here. And maybe just other things. And we'll put like our food stuff here. And then like other rhino bits, I guess. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, we'll also place on the bed. Wait, does he want my bread? Oh, wait, he wants my bread. Come here, other coconut crab. Wait, does he? Oh no, I don't think he does. Okay, no, I can't feed him the bread. I thought he wanted it. He just like came over right to me. I was gonna say, we'll breed them. Does he want my coconut? Okay, I can't feed the coconut crab the coconut, but they just like, why are there so many now? <laughs> like there weren't any before, and now there are so many. Hello, little coconut. Little coconut, that's so cute. Okay, well now, I guess it's time to kind of plan out this build a little bit. Um, oh, see, they just like spawn like right in front of you. Now we have four. I swear like the coconuts will just like, yeah, they'll just turn into crabs sometimes. That's so funny. Okay, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. But maybe. Okay, so. I want to kind of make a little stone cutter or a wood cutter rather, but we need iron to do that. We don't have any iron. Also, not having iron means that we can't make any lanterns. And that's a sad day. 
So is there a cave kind of close that we can see? I don't know. What is that? That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Well, hmm. I definitely could explore more for some iron, but I don't know. I wish that we would have found some in like a loot chest or something. Well, anyways, let me just like go ahead and get started on like the outline of this build. Oh, and we have so many more coconut seedlings. Hopefully these actually grow and they don't need special requirements or something for them to grow because I definitely need uh, a lot more of this wood. So I was thinking that we could have, oh my gosh, there's so many crabs, that's so funny. Hello, you're so cute, but you're kind of in the way. So I didn't want the front door to just like, like you can just walk into the front door. I wanted it to kind of be on the second story, I guess. Oh, look, we have a wandering trader. We don't have any uh, emeralds to give you. So thanks for coming, but I have nothing for you. Um, let's grab a little bit of spruce. And then we can use it as some pillars, maybe like a spruce here, a spruce here. One, two, three, four, five, maybe. And then a spruce here. Something kind of like that. And then we'll have like stairs going up. Um, and then one, two, three, four, coconut crab. Five, six, seven. Yeah, that's good, right? This is just a little baby starter house. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, if the staircase is here, does that mean I also need to bring the wall over? I don't think so. Okay, and then we'll do like pillars on all of the corners too. Like that. Ooh, this one needs to be... Hmm. This one needs to be here. Okay, we'll just try like that and then just see what happens. And then it'd be cool to have some kind of window here. Like that. Maybe we'll do like um, the pain trick on the sides and then we put... Oh, then we put blocks in the middle and it kind of looks like a bay window or something. And then we can have more windows on the sides. One, two, like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and make these all into planks, honestly. I mean, I feel like we got kind of a lot of coconut wood. Oh, cool, our uh, coconut tree grew. Uh, maybe we'll make the back just a solid wall. I don't want windows on every wall. But it kind of looks beachy, doesn't it? I think it'll be fun. Okay, yeah, I think it'll look super cool, actually. I'm excited for it. And then let's go ahead and chop down this tree. Easy peasy. We'll make some more stairs so we can go ahead and continue that staircase a bit. Okay, just like that. Oh, and we got more seedlings. We'll go ahead and plant more. We're literally going to have so many coconut crabs. Also, do you notice that like you can't hear the rain in my better Minecraft world? I have no idea why it does that, but you just like can't hear the rain anymore. Like, I used to be able to hear the rain, but it just stopped. And I don't know why. Okay, so... When do we need to start that second story? We probably... Hmm. So... One, two, three... We get it started here with slabs? Like that? Um... Oh, hello, everyone's just coming on in. Okay, this is fine. 
or we could go up one. I think we might start there with slabs, honestly. Just because I don't want it to look super tall. I kind of want this to feel like a little shack, almost. So we'll go up the stairs. And then this will be the start of the second story. And then for the floor on the top level, we will make it spruce slabs, I think. Like this. Nighttime is approaching. Okay. Go to sleep. Fix that little block. Okay, cool. Um, this does look kind of weird on the outside. It looks fine. Or kind of weird on the inside. It looks fine from the outside. But it's just like the way that it worked out. Maybe we can scoot the window over or something. See, like from the outside, it's going to look fine. And then I was thinking that we could do like some kind of thing like this and then maybe we could put like some fences in between or something i'm not quite sure kind of just figure it out together but maybe hmm okay let me not worry about it yet let's get the actual like structure of the house in first uh maybe we'll go up like four blocks on every side it's just a little basic like beach shack Kind of. Okay, so we'll do the four. And we will need the coconut log soon again. But let's kind of see how that's starting to look. I mean, we, we just started, okay? I think it'll end up looking fine. Right now, it's a little questionable. But I think that with details and more work, we can definitely turn it into something cool. Oh! Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad! A coconut fell on my head and it literally hurts so bad! That like literally, like that was, that was almost it for me. Wow, that would have been so bad. I mean, would it really have been that bad? Not really, because uh, our bed's right there. But my goodness, that hurt. Note to self, don't just stand underneath falling coconuts. Because, yeah, that's, that's not good. Okay, so more planks. And I guess, oh wait, we're going to need some more spruce for sure. why I thought that staircase was gonna like take me to where I needed it to okay uh continue I don't really know what kind of roof I want to do whenever I think of a shack shacks kind of have more rounded roofs so maybe we'll do something more like that and honestly I think this is gonna have to go up maybe one more no I'm not gonna do it yet It'll probably have to go up more in the middle, but I don't know how much. Okay, let's go get some more spruce. And I'll make another axe too. Oh, okay, we're not quite out of cobblestone. Oh my gosh, they sound like spiders. They just sound like spiders crawling around. Oh, and here's our dark oak. It grew. Perfect. Some spruce. Literally, that was like the most pathetic spruce tree ever. It had like three leaves on it. I'm not going to need that much. Honestly, this project is not that, not that bad. It's pretty achievable. So maybe that means we'll have some time to like work on the inside a little bit and the exterior a little bit since the, the actual build is not that bad. 
<laughs> and these coconuts are like terrible food. They're so bad. Uh, okay, 53 spruce logs. Sounds good to me. For a time at least. And then we'll just build up all of the spruce logs around. Like that. And then again over here. Uh, yeah, these, these coconuts, they're not doing great uh, as food at all. And then last but not least, this one over here. Okay, and then I'm going to make some bread. I do think. I would love to just like, you know, live on coconuts, but it doesn't seem like that's our, that's our calling. I think we need a little bit of bread. Um, oh, I did not make that one go up high enough, but we'll fix it. And I think that I'm gonna chop down one of my spruce trees. I think that, like I was saying before, or sorry, dark oak trees, but like I was saying, oh, <laughs> wow, that chopped a lot. It chopped both those trees at the same time, but the dark oak is only going to be a an accent block, kind of, so. I'm not really going to worry about getting that much, even though that we kind of accidentally got quite a lot. But I need to make another axe again. And then we need some slabs. And then I'm going to make some staircases. I don't know if I want the staircases, but we're going to try it. Hmm, let's think about this roof a little bit. I was thinking about just having it more like arched. But I don't really have a good pillar block. Um, like a good, you know, like I don't have, even have dirt. So we're going to be using cobblestone. But anyways, for the roof, I was thinking it'd be cool if it could like... Hmm, I don't know. We're just gonna experiment together, okay? I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just gonna like see what happens. Like what if we did that? And then again, and then we start to go up with these, and then we did the same thing on the other side. Here, upside down, and then a plank, and then upside down, and then Slabs? What does that even look like? I have no idea. Okay, let's see. Wait, it's not even the same. Okay, wait. Let's do this again. Um, okay, this... I, I know what I need to do. This needs to be lower. Okay, it needs to be like, not here, but here. Okay, let's try this again. So upside down and then plank. And then upside down. And what did I do on the other side? Ooh, another plank. And then, oh, is that it? Almost? Uh, okay, I think that's the same. Now let's see it. I really wish I had some dirt. That would be nice. And also the warning trader is just chilling in my house. Having a grand old time in there. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, I think that's actually like pretty much what I wanted. I wanted it to like super like domey, you know? I don't know. Okay, let's let's continue working with that and We'll see how that turns out. We need more spruce because I think I'm going to fill in the rest of it with spruce. But just like the outside will be the dark oak. And I should probably be replanting these spruce trees. Honestly, so maybe we'll, we'll do a little spruce tree replant. There we go. Um, okay, we have like over a stack of logs. I think that should be plenty. Okay, 
Okay. Um, let's make some, I guess, really just spruce slabs. Is that enough? I think so. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to finish this roof. Huh? So let's go ahead and get this trim all the way around. Hopefully this ends up looking okay. So far, like, oh wait, no. I thought we were going to be able to finish it when we got up here, but alas, we cannot. We had to make some dark oak stairs. But yeah, I think that this build, it's definitely interesting. For sure. Um, as of now, I think it looks awful. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. And also, I think the sun is setting. Yeah, it is. So we're going to have to, again, <laughs> go back down. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe with details, we'll like it. But I don't know. We will see. Okay, uh, let's go back down. Maybe if, even if I made some ladders, that would make my life easier or something. So I don't have to keep on pillaring up and down with cobblestone. But I don't think I'm going to do that, honestly. Hopefully, going up here will be my last time, like, actually going up to work on this roof. I hope so. Okay, so that's that side finished. Now this side. We'll do a little plank, a little upside down, a little plank, a little upside down, and then a slab, I think. Okay, and then we just fill it in with some spruce. And I guess I'll go ahead and make a couple of spruce planks as well, not just slabs. So then this will be spruce plank. And I guess technically all of this is spruce plank too. That's definitely, I wonder if that's going to make the upstairs feel too short. I hope not, but I guess we'll find out. And then, oh, I guess we might need some spruce stairs. Hmm. We may need some spruce stairs. I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't know how the dark oak will look upside down here. I feel like spruce would probably look better. But then these will go all the way down. Like so. We'll for now put a little dark oak here. But still don't really know how I feel about that. Oh wait. Okay. Different things aren't hap are happening on different sides. So, I think this is supposed to be a slab. Yeah. Yes, it's supposed to be a slab. And then we need to do a little fill-in right here. And then continue with the spruce slabs down. And then this will be spruce. Make a little bit more. All the way down. Ooh. Place this dark oak stair right here. And then I think last but not least, we just do this. Kind of, sort of. All right, let's see what it looks like. I don't have high hopes, but hopefully, like, it's, it's, uh, okay. Hopefully, it's okay. Okay, so definitely, we need to get some spruce in there. I mean, it's, it's simple, but it's, I think it's going to work. Uh, so we need a little bit of spruce stair. Maybe honestly just like 
four. I'm gonna make eight just in case. Nom on some bread. Okay, let's fix this now. Coloring up with my cobblestone. So right here, I want that to be spruce. And then I want to change this out for spruce as well. And same with this, a little spruce slab. And right there. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. I think that I want to do some kind of balcony on that upper bit in the front, right here. And then we need to fix this part too. Yeah, that's looking a little rough over here. Does anyone else get motion sick while they play Minecraft? Let me know, <laughs> because I kind of do. Um, I, and it's only sometimes, which is so weird. I don't know like what decides whether or not the motion sickness is going to come, but sometimes I get really motion sick and other times it's not that bad. But I'm kind of starting to feel it right now, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, ah, uh, there we go. There is that part of it. Um, now here, we'll probably like bring this back. And then maybe put some, like another pillar here. And then I don't know if I just want this to be like all like coconut. Also, I haven't even like mined a single piece of coal. So how am I supposed to light anything up? You know, like if I wanted to light things up in there, I can't. So I guess like, I just gotta fill it in. Okay, I think that should be fine. Um, and then maybe we like bring it across like that. And then I want something here, but I don't know what yet. We'll figure that out. And then the door will be like here. Yeah, it's kind of cute, except what is going on here? What is this? Okay, that's better, but again, like, how am I supposed to light anything up without coal? I guess that's going to have to happen, probably. But then maybe this can be like a double door balcony coming out here. Uh, Wandering Trader, what are you doing? He says, huh? What are you doing, buddy? You brought your llama? He said, uh-huh. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, then we'll like put some, oh wait, that's not centered. Hmm, interesting, interesting. So maybe we don't do double door. Maybe we do it like that. I know like inside it's not centered. Inside I don't really care that much, honestly. Wait, do we have two wonder traders? Oh no. Okay, he just got down really fast. Okay, well, and also I have his lead. Okay, well, yeah, there we go. And then we need to get some glass, but again, like, we don't even have, like, um, any coal or anything, so we're definitely going to have to do any, like, some kind of caving, even if I don't want to, like, it's gonna have to happen. So I guess I'll go ahead and, like, kind of prepare for hopefully the smallest caving trip of my life, but it might have to be a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and make some tools, a couple of pickaxes. I have my food. I will bring a little bit more wood so that I can make torches if need be. And then that's about it, honestly. So, where is a good place to go caving? I feel like I haven't seen a cave. Maybe we'll just walk around and like hope to find something. Um, and I guess like I should probably bring my bed with me. Oh my gosh, it almost fell on my head again. The coconut crabs are taking over the island. They're literally everywhere. But hopefully we can just find like a divot or something like that. 
that will just like have some exposed coal you know maybe some iron that would be super nice but honestly i think i'm about to take a break here soon so i can stretch my legs um and hopefully allow this motion sickness to kind of pass a little bit because i'm definitely feeling pretty motion sick unfortunately okay i think this will be perfect honestly Maybe, I, oh yeah, there's some coal here. Okay, so I guess with that, I am honestly going to do maybe a little bit of caving. Um, not like caving, like I'm gonna try to find like some exposed coal and maybe some iron, but then I will pop back in once I've taken a break and once I've mined some coal and I will meet you back at our little house. Okay, I'm back from my break, and remember when I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. That looks interesting. Well, I guess this is what that is. Uh, a duck statue, a, like, duck shrine. And look at these little baby ducks right here. It's kind of cool, isn't it, actually? Look, little baby duck. So cute. Uh, part of me wonders if there's anything inside of... Oh? Wait, do I... I think I need to... Mine that with iron. Wait, you're... Oh my gosh, you're kidding. Wait, I literally had no idea, I swear. I had no idea that there were a block of diamond right there. I just was like, you know, I wonder if there's anything in the duck. There is something indeed in the duck. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Well, I think that I need iron to mine that. I don't... Wait, it will tell me. It tells me in better Minecraft. Okay, let's check it out. See if it says that I can mine it. Because I want that diamond for sure. Ugh, okay, can't jump up that way. Um, okay, I can't mine it. It said I needed iron, so we'll have to get some iron. And I didn't do that much caving. I said I was going to do some caving while I was taking a break. But I, I didn't really. I just found that duck. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to pop back in and show you all that duck. That is so cool. And there's literally diamond inside of it. Wow, but like we need iron, so we cannot uh, profit from the duck just yet. So hopefully we'll be able to find iron, but this coal will be super, super handy for sure. I made some torches, but like I need iron and I don't really know where else to look. That one place that I was at had literally nothing. It had just that coal that I started mining um so yeah like everything is just a dead end so far there are not a lot of caves but i definitely feel a lot better after i took a break i don't feel motion sick anymore i get motion sick so easily like i cannot sit in the back of cars even for like a short little trip because i'll just start to feel so sick what is that oh there's a spawner inside of it kind of spawner um a stray spawner let's put a torch there you know just to be safe um but yeah i get motion sick even just like on short little car rides uh i get really bad seasickness if i'm on a boat and if i'm playing minecraft apparently which like what is even up with that it's so frustrating definitely gets in the way I don't, I don't know what does it, but yeah, I definitely do get a bit motion sick. And I feel like Minecraft's the only game that I've gotten motion sick from. I think it's really just because like, maybe because of the size of my monitor. It's not like I have like a giant monitor. Oh, cool. There's some iron right there. But it's not like I have a giant monitor, but I'm not really, if I'm playing a console game, I'm not like this close to the TV or anything, you know? But with monitors, you kind of are pretty close to them. And they are much bigger than just like your phone. So maybe that's what it is. And also, I don't get motion sick if I play Minecraft on my laptop. So that's why I think the monitor size has something to do with it. Just it being so big. I'm not sure, honestly. And I will definitely mine all of this coal that I see. And then I'll go ahead and mine that iron. It didn't look like there was very much. But hopefully 
There's a little bit. At least enough to make a pickaxe. All right, let's see here. There's some here. One piece. We need a little bit more than one piece. Okay. Let's, I guess, get that other one that's over here. That I'm pretty sure is only one. And then now we just need one more. Um, yeah, it's just so tricky. see some coal. I hear these snails. Note to self, you can accidentally jump on them and kill them. So don't be like hopping around snails. Note to self. Because I have done it quite a few times. I'm just like hopping around and then you hear a crunching noise and then yeah, the snail is gone. Okay, what about down here? Should probably make a couple more torches as well this seems to be a bit more expansive so maybe we'll have a little bit more luck oh okay another dead end what about down this way on, I just need literally one piece. There's a little bit of coal, some copper. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm playing on easy. I had to remember that, so I, I'm gonna be okay, right? I don't think I've seen a baby zombie villager before. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Okay, so this seems like it's a proper cave system. Got it. Got it. Okay, well, I will take this coal, I guess. I don't really want to go, like, fully exploring. But, like, I need one piece. Just one little piece. <gasps> Yay! There's a piece right there. Okay. Okay, two pieces. Whoa, we can make a lantern. Ooh, some lapis. I don't think we need that honestly so i don't really know why i'm mining it but because i feel like for these long plays i don't know if i'll really make them a series i don't know i feel like i'd rather just make it one video and start a new world every time but i don't know I just, I don't see me making, like, a multi-part series. I don't know. It just, I just, I just don't know about it. But we'll go ahead and cook that up and then go back to the duck, I guess. And get that, get those diamonds. That's so cool. I just feel like for these long plays, part of the f one of it for me is getting to like make a new world and like make a little starter house off of the items around in my new world because obviously you're not making new worlds all the time like you're playing in your old world and I feel like with long plays like you get the liberty to make a new world and kind of like explore it so I don't know that's just kind of my thought process behind that. But let's go ahead and make our first iron pickaxe and go to the duck. Also, it's probably nighttime. Let's see. Okay. Nope, it's not. Oh, hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. I definitely wonder if I should play on peaceful. I think maybe I really want to do that exploring long play video. That sounds pretty cool, actually. And I think that would be a really good opportunity to 
perhaps play on Peaceful because that way we could actually explore things without like worrying about, you know, running into some bad guys. Like for example, like we can't explore that windmill because uh, yeah, all those little bad guys over there. We can't explore the Woodland Mansions and all those things because you kind of have to be further along in your world in order to be able to do that. So, I don't know. Oh, hello, doggy. Cute little wolves. And hello, ducky. Thank you so much for providing me lots of diamonds. I appreciate it. Whoa, so many. Wow, that's so cool. Note to self, if I ever see this in my Better Minecraft Let's Play, like, I better go to that duck. Okay, there we go. Um, and there's definitely not any in his head or anything like that, so. But that's so cool. I think that there was something else in my Better Minecraft Let's Play that I dug up and I found diamonds in the middle of it. It was like some kind of like chunk of iron blocks or something. I'm honestly, I can't remember. It was a little while ago, but I know I had, I think at least like one diamond block and like tons of iron blocks too in it, which is cool. That's one thing that is cool about Better Minecraft is like you can just find things like that. Like, we have literally more diamonds than we have iron now. And that's so cool. And look at this little blue jay. So cute. We will go ahead and head on home now. And continue our build. Now that we have some more goodies. Whoa. I'm sure we could have found some iron down there. And look at all of the crabs, all of the coconut crabs that are over by our house. That's so funny. But pretty much we just have to detail now, which is one of the most exciting parts about building. So I'm excited to get into the detail process. Oh my gosh, so many crabs. Okay, cool. Let's get into this. So, let's go ahead, I guess, and start smelting some glass. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Uh, that's unfortunate. I just made this giant hole in front of the house. Okay, well, let's go up here to mine for some sand. I want to start smelting some sand so that we can make a little bit of glass for our windows. There we go. I've been going on some walks lately here in real life and they've been so nice. I have definitely been enjoying it. It just feels so nice to like get out in nature and like obviously like you, you should be going out in nature, but sometimes it's easy to not forget about it, but just like, not do it, you know? Okay, well, there's our little doors. And then we have, like, a strip of... Why do we have a strip on this side? Oh, it's because my house isn't even. Got it. Yeah, like, it's... it's looks even on the outside, but it's not even on the inside. But I definitely been itching to go on some more walks. But, like... It's been so stormy here lately because of, it's summertime, so the storms are definitely pretty crazy. I just want to make a couple of fences. Okay, there we go. And I definitely love myself a good summer storm. I think that they're so nice. Honestly... The best thing about summer is, is the storms for sure. I actually, I don't really like summertime at all. It's so hot and just gross and sticky. And I am so ready for 
fall and winter. I'm so ready. The clothes, I like the clothes a lot for fall and winter. Um, maybe I will bring this up. But like the clothes are so cozy and I love sweaters. And I'm excited to wear them again. Okay, then maybe I'll bring this up and then this one up too a little bit. Like that. And then like you can just snuggle on the couch with a good book and some coffee. And like you can do that in the summertime too. But like it's just so much better in the winter. So I am very, very eager for winter to finally come. And then we'll add this little fence on our balcony like that. And then, hmm, what else can we add? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, just a second. We have to be able to access down here. Okay, well, I need to keep that in mind and not forget it. And then let's go ahead and make some panes. There we go. And get rid of this fence I placed. So we'll add some glass here. And then more glass on this edge. And then in the middle, we're going to add the glass blocks so that it looks something like this. I'm going to grab some coconut stairs, I think. Right here. And maybe we can like put them above the windows. Just to add a little bit more like shape, I guess. And then also we can put them here. Again, just to add more shape. There we go, so it's not so flat anymore. And then we can do it above, um, actually we won't do it above that door because it's kind of hidden by the roof, but we'll do it above this door. There we go. What else do we need to add to our house? Okay, it's actually looking kind of cute. We definitely have some more like uh, bits that we need to add, but it's looking pretty good. And I actually think I have like this one iron ingot. Hmm. I Okay, I need to save it for a lantern. I was going to say I'm going to use it for a stone or a wood cutter. But I just need to use it for um, a, a lantern. I think that would be the best way to use that. But I really need, I need more, um, I guess. Let me go ahead. And make myself a diamond axe because why not but I need more spruce wood because I want to make some trap doors that's why I was like oh I'll make a wood cutter because they're so much cheaper whenever you can use the wood cutter because one plank equals one trap door and that is so like such a good deal but uh, we'll just Take the extra time. Oh, why is this tree growing right on top of the rock? But we'll just take the extra time to chop down a couple of trees. We can manage that. Okay, cool, cool. And now we can make some trap doors. I think I want to put them on the ends of the spruce pillars. So honestly, we're going to need a lot, probably a lot more than 14, I think. Let's see. Just to, I don't know, like, I think details and like continuing to add details will really just like, it just makes your build look so much better. And I know these like small little things like adding the staircases like above windows and doors and just like adding a couple of trap doors along the bottom it seems so small but like really it just like it adds up and it ends up making a really big difference i don't think i'm gonna put them here on the ends though um though i do want to go ahead and start detailing a little bit more with the dark oak we did say that was going to be our detail block so i want to make some 
buttons with the dark oak. And then what else? There's something else that I had in mind. Ooh, maybe some shutters. That's what I was thinking of. So, let's see how we make a little shutter. Because I can't remember. Okay, we need some slabs. Clear out the inventory a little bit. And then... We need... How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight. And then we'll make... I don't know how many buttons we'll need, but we'll just make a couple. So I want to put the shutters over the windows so they actually feel functional. So over the windows, so that way like we can actually open and close them over the windows. And then we'll do the same thing here, though like it technically doesn't work in the middle, but that's okay. And then for these buttons, I was thinking about placing some here, and then maybe there too. Mm, maybe here. Yeah, we'll do that. And then maybe we can put some little trapdoors. Actually, we'll just do these spruce trapdoors since we have them. And I think it'll look pretty nice. Mm, actually, I want them to face this way. I don't know why. I just do. So we'll replace them facing the other way. There we go. What else can we add? It's definitely coming along. I think up there needs something. Maybe we can place our one lantern up there. But I would like to sleep. And then the back needs stuff too. And I was like, oh, I won't do any windows. But I think that we need windows. So maybe we'll add some windows on this top portion. Hmm. If we do it there, it'll be along the floor, and I think that will look kind of funny. So if we do two like this, they'll have to be up here. So I guess maybe we'll do that. And then we can add some flower boxes to the windows too. I think that'd be super cute. And maybe even some shutters. I think just like adding every tiny little bit of detail that we can will really, really help this build. So I think we need a little bit of dirt for the flower boxes. So we'll get some dirt. And then we'll have to find some flowers to also put in the flower boxes. That is like maybe not my favorite thing about Butter Minecraft, but it's one thing that I love so much. These window boxes. And I wish that, that they would add them to vanilla. Oh, what is that? Windswept sand. That looks, oh, you just added redstone to it. Redstone sand? Hmm. Wait. Okay, no, I think that redstone sand, how you make that is with the windswept sand. Okay, anyways, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, wait. A wind chime? Oh, I had no idea that you can make a wind chime. Oh, iron wind chime? Okay, we have no iron and we have no string. But maybe we can like try to make one because like that's so cute. We don't have bamboo, but maybe we can do this copper one. Okay, uh, hopefully I don't forget that. But I'm looking for these. Are they really called flower? Yeah, flower boxes. So we need some slabs and some planks and we'll do them with dark oak. So like this. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay, and one, two, three, four five uh, we'll make this many i think and then we need some more shutters too okay cool so up we go again and we'll do some shutters and then the window boxes and we'll have to figure out some kind of flower to put in there Something beachy, you know? But I wish they would put those in vanilla Minecraft. Like, wouldn't that be so cute? I think it would look so cool. I wonder if we could, like, put them up here, too? Like, like that? I mean, 
I know it's not below a window, but I think it would kind of look good. Like, we can barely see it, but I think with flowers in it, it'll be like a nice pop of color. These barrels don't happen to have any bamboo in them, do they? That would be so cool. So we can make that bamboo wind chime. Um, it doesn't appear like it. It has so many things, but it does not have that. Okay, and then... I always like to add trap doors like on this gap between the trim and then like the roof and the wall of the build but trap doors are so expensive so I feel like we have to do it though right we have to um and I'm going to need so many let's see how many trap doors I can make with this and we okay we actually already have some trap doors hopefully this should be enough My pillar block has turned into wood now, but we will just do it like this and have them like poking out a little bit. I think it just like, I don't know, it's one of those things that I just can't leave a build without because it just like finishes it off and adds like an extra tiny bit of detail. Okay, this side doesn't have that, so we won't be able to do it on that side, but it just adds like the smallest bit of detail. And again, I think all those little things added up definitely make your build. Okay, what else? This wall is definitely looking pretty flat. Oh, okay, wait, can can we put him in our house? Hello, do you wanna go inside the house? Okay, no, he said it, no thank you. Um, I wonder if we put a window here or something? I just think it looks so empty. Okay, that is in line with the floor. So if we added a window, it would have to be here, which I think is just slightly awkward. So I don't think a window is gonna work, honestly. It's just pretty flat, but you know, it just might be like that. Oh, wait, we really need more iron because I can't even shear leaves for bushes. And that is a sad day to not have bushes. So let's explore a little bit. If we find some iron, then we find iron. If we don't, we're just gonna have to make do with what we have with our like single piece of iron here. Um, let's go ahead and make some more hay or more um bread too and let's put these diamonds away we don't need to carry those with us uh and wait actually let's make a diamond pickaxe because why not right well we do have this iron one do we re really need to make a diamond one i mean not really but like let's make a diamond chest plate like you know we're loaded over here and like I was saying before, I don't think that we're going to be um, playing in this world again. I think this will be our last time. So I'm not like going to worry about saving the diamonds for an enchantment setup or anything like that. Oh, and grab my bed. That'd be sad. So here we go. Grabbing the bed. So we're going to look for iron. And if we find that, then that's lovely. Hopefully we do find some. Um... Where could we go? Oh, it looks snowy over that way. That's kind of cozy. Um, hmm. I wish that we could see some land over here because I really wouldn't mind like exploring down. You know? And then also I want to look for flowers. So we kind of need some flowers. There's just so much danger around here. Actually, I think I'm going to explore down. And hope that we find something. Because I don't really like anything that's up there. Ooh, and should we make just a couple of extra torches? I think that we should. Just a few. And then maybe we can bring a little bit of wood to, I feel like, wood is always good to bring. Oh, we do have some dark oak. Okay, sticks, there we go. I'll put back the spruce. Ooh, and we don't need those trap doors. I know my inventory is messy. There we go, it's kind of, wait, 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 wait. Put back the spruce, what did I add to that? My boat, okay. But we'll go south 
and hope that we find something because I don't really like any of the things or like the places that we've explored before. I mean, I like the duck. That was cool. And we do have a pirate ship. We don't want to explore that. But I'm hoping that if we just go a little bit further, then we'll be able to see a little bit of land. And hopefully that land will be cool. That's what I'm hoping. But that is a really cool pirate ship. There are some spawners right there. Um, and some skeletons. I feel like those pirate ships actually aren't that difficult to take on. Like, probably a little bit too difficult for us. Whoa, what is that? Oh, is this the, um, I think it's supposed to be like a fossil. Like, do you see this one? That one's kind of like a fossil. I don't know. It looks like a palace or something. Oh, there are so many pirate ships. But yeah, I feel like these pirate ships actually aren't that hard to take care of. Like, this one has pillagers on it, or this one does, so that might be a little bit more difficult. But honestly, like, oh my gosh, there are so many. That's crazy. But I've definitely taken out a few in my time before, and they weren't that hard. So, I don't know. But this is a lot of ocean, so I don't know if we're actually going to find any land. I want to, but I don't know if we will. If we explore a while longer and we end up not finding anything here soon, then we'll just go back. And, like, what are these just, like, random things floating in the water? I wonder what that's supposed to be. I think that's a shipwreck, maybe? Another boat that way. That is so crazy. See? Like, this looks like it could be an ocean monument. Maybe. Oh, is that land? Oh, wait! Oh my gosh, that's a mushroom biome. Wait, is that the world's smallest mushroom biome ever? I think it is. Wait, it's the world's smallest mushroom biome. But that's so cool. Whoa, that's actually such a cool find. I wish it was bigger. But it's all underground. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I wish there was at least like one mushroom on it. Whoa. Um, well, there's lots of frozen ocean. Okay, that means no flowers and probably no iron. I'm honestly just going to head back. I'm here to find, like, flowers, so I don't think that's going to provide me flowers, really. So that is a super cool find in my better Minecraft world. I, like, I went over, like, 10,000 blocks, I think, to find a mushroom biome. It was insane. It took so long long so so long so it's crazy that we found one that easily but maybe we can like well that's kind of snowy so i don't think that means flowers i was gonna say we can kind of like head towards that way but maybe not i don't know All the pillagers and they all have little banners and like all of their little arrows too it's pretty cool actually oh and a little baby ship is that one with no i was gonna say is that one with a villager because there's a the little baby ships and it'll just have like a random villager on it okay so this snow over here is it just a bunch of ice? I think we'll go to sleep on the ice. But I don't think we're going to find flowers here. Or iron, honestly. Wait! No, do you see what I mean? The villager. He is there. It is so cool, honestly. I think that's w another really cool thing about Better Minecraft. Is that like it doesn't feel as alone because there are so many creatures around. So many living creatures. So many just random villagers. Um, I don't know. It just, like, it makes your world feel, feel less alone. Okay, but we'll go maybe this way. And I guess just explore, like, normal. I was hoping we were going to find something, but I don't think that's the case. There is a ruined portal. That's cool. Grab the boat. And off we go. 
keeping our eyes peeled for cool looking flowers. I don't want to just do poppies or dandelions. I would really like to be able to do like something beachy, but what's a beachy flower? At least in Minecraft. I don't know if there are beachy flowers in Minecraft. Um, hmm. I'm not really seeing anything of interest, honestly. I do want to check out this little peninsula over here. It looks like it has something cool on it. Probably a spawner, like the one that we saw. Maybe. Or maybe not. Hmm. Just like a random ruin thing. Let's see. Is there anything inside of it? Oh, there is. There's a chest. Oh, diamonds! Ooh, and... Or one diamond. And a globe. Ooh, some more iron. Okay, we found iron. Uh, we didn't really need that much. So, I guess there was a door. Oops. Uh, but all we need to find is... Um, flowers now. Because, honestly, we didn't really need that much iron. Just a little bit. Though, I do want to look for some copper. And then, I think there was actually, like, a spider nest... And that way we could get some string for the wind chimes. I am so glad that I found out that you could get wind chimes because that's so cool. One thing that I really think that Better Minecraft is missing is like hanging flowers. Like any kind of like hanging flower box, I guess. I think it's really missing that. Okay, um, a bit spooky in here, but hopefully there's some copper. Oh. There is a skelly, but I'm on easy, so it should be fine, right? I keep on telling myself that, but then it's like not going to be fine. Okay, let's run. And eat. Oh, the creeper is coming for us, and we did haven't made a shield yet. Why haven't we made a shield yet? Probably because we have no iron. Okay, come on. I'm like trying to land a critical hit, and it's just not working. There's some more iron right there. Of course, whenever I want to find copper, I find iron. And vice versa. You know, that's just the way, isn't it? Okay, well. That's where we entered. Some little pumpkins. I love how I'm building this beach house and I don't even like summer. I like the beach. I just don't really like summer, honestly. I think there was some copper down here, right? Yeah, there's some right there. Okay, we can mine this with stone. And we just need like three, but maybe we'll make a couple of wind chimes. Okay, that's more than enough, perfect. And then hopefully we can get a little bit of string. And I think that was it, like sticks and like a button or something. But I think that we can manage that. It's really just a string that's going to be a bit of a hassle. And I think that if we go kind of back towards a spawn, I think it was like, honestly, I think this is it. I think that's it. So we'll go this way. And then there are some flowers here, but there's like a pillager thing there. Obviously, there's beautiful flowers here, but I don't think I want to go all the way back over there. So we might just be like, we might just be settling. I don't know. We'll see. But back all the way this way. Definitely a bit of a journey. But that's okay. We can manage. Lately, I've been playing The Sims 4 a lot. I feel like The Sims 4 is one of those games that I pick up and I play so much. And then I just like drop it and then never play it again. Um, I know a lot of people say that about Minecraft. Is that like it's just one of those games that you like you haven't played it in six months. But you pick it up and play it for like two weeks straight without sleep. And then you just like stop playing it and then you repeat the cycle. That's like me and Sims. Obviously I play Minecraft a lot, 
So I'm not just like dropping it for months at a time. But for The Sims, I definitely drop it quite a lot. And then I'll pick it up and play it. So that's what I've been playing lately. And it's so nice to, I don't know, play different games that aren't Minecraft. Because again, I play lots of Minecraft. So I've been definitely enjoying my time like playing other games for sure. Okay, so I believe like over this way, we should see the thing. See right over there. Do you see that like a little bit of wool and then the cobweb? I think that that is like a spider nest. So we're going to the spider nest. Oh wait, the crocus flowers that I love. Look at those. That'll be perfect. But look at all of these cobwebs. Cobweb entanglement. Perfect. We need those. And so much wool too, which is actually kind of cool. But we definitely will not be exploring that. Like, look how terrifying that is. Okay, let's get just a little bit more. Ooh, and these irises are super cute. Okay, cool. This is perfect. Why is it like smoking? Is that just like, is there stuff underneath it or does it just smoke? <gasps> oh, wait, there's a spotter. I had no idea that was crazy. Oh no, I've fallen. Ooh. I got, oh wait, where did I get that book from? But it's cool because it shows you like recipes, like tables, chairs, and all those things. Like little sinks and such. It's cool. Oh, yeah, and you can also make coffee in Better Minecraft. And I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I need to make coffee. It sounds so cute. Okay, well, let's grab some irises. I'm not sure what I'll go for, but we'll do the irises. And then we'll, of course, do these crocus because there are like so many different flowers here. Like, I guess they're all crocus flowers. I don't even know what that looks like in real life. But there's purple and like a lighter purple and that orange and the white. And it just looks really cool. Flowers are really cool. I'm so glad that I decided to come over here and actually get all of those cobwebs. And of course, these flowers are over here too. Okay, that's probably enough. Now, time to head back home. Hello, snails. I will try not to step on you. There's like a little dojo thing over there. I think those have invisible skeletons, which obviously sounds like the best thing ever, right? Invisible skeletons that shoot at you and you don't know where they're coming from. Definitely not something that we want to explore right now. That's why I think that it'd be so cool to play in peaceful because we will never get the opportunity to explore those things in a long play like this. So playing on peaceful and doing a big exploring long play would allow us to explore all the things. Like we can look at this with a mansion and see what's in there. And that could be so cool. So I definitely think that I want to do that next for my next long play. Oh, I think our house is actually looking so cute. I think it's looking really, really good. Okay, I was a little bit worried about it, but I think it's coming together. Okay, let's go ahead and cook up this copper. We'll get a little bit more coal for it. And then we can start filling our 
things with flowers. I don't know if I want to do both yet because I feel like this one, the iris, is going to be just like, like these are so fluffy, if that makes sense. And then the irises are just like, like so not fluffy. See, like they're just like one flower and these will just like fill up the flower boxes better. So maybe we'll do that. See, like, doesn't that just look so good? It looks so good. Oh, and then we have those flower boxes up there. We're actually one short. We're literally one crocus short because we need four for upstairs. So I guess we will be using a little iris. I should probably light this up. That'd probably be good, right? Okay, so maybe we'll do irises on the inside and then we'll do the focuses on the outside. I think that looks good. Okay, I'm actually so happy. This is coming together so nicely. And our copper is doing well. We have string, we have sticks, and then I think we just need buttons. And then I think that's it for the wind chimes. So let's see. Wind chimes, we're making the copper ones. So sticks, string, copper, copper with a button in the middle. Sticks, string, copper, copper, and button. And that makes two in chimes. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, where should we put it? Um, I definitely think that we should put it like here. Maybe like there. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I... Mm, I love it. I literally cannot believe I haven't noticed this before. Hmm, where do we put this one? Maybe like on the edge? Maybe? Let's see what it looks like from the outside. And they make little noise! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I think that's perfect for a little beach house too. Oh, I'm literally so happy. I'm so glad that we got those. Okay, now... Now we have a little bit of iron. Let's make some lanterns. So we'll start with four. I think that we need definitely one up. I think that's my priority right now is having one up there. Ooh, and then maybe like one there too. But let's put one here. I honestly think like right here. I think that's cute. Okay, wait, it's coming along. It's looking so good. And then maybe, we'll, okay, maybe we'll put it there. And then I think it'd be cool to put one down here. Like there? Uh, actually on the other side, I think. Wait, no. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have one on the bottom. I don't know. Okay, maybe we'll just leave it like that. We'll just, we'll just do that. And then I think like we're pretty much done, aren't we? I think it looks so good. I know this part is a little bit flat, but like, oh wait, I remember why I wanted iron. So I can make shears so that we can get bushes. I think that putting bushes there would really allow that area to not look so empty. So I was thinking about the coconut leaves because you know, it, it's kind of fitting, right? So let's just try the coconut leaves and see what we think. They are very interesting for sure. So let's just shear a couple of them and we'll, we'll give them a go. Okay, let's see. I think we'll start in the back. Oh, I just broke that with my axe. I mean, this is kind of cool, right? Um, unfortunately, we can't like place them right here. So we're kind of limited in like the areas that we can place them, but we can definitely place them here for sure. Hmm. Oh, those little like wind chimes are so cool. Okay, wait, I think that's good. I think that's good. It's coming along. Wait, what if we put seashells? That'd be cool. 
some little seashells outside of her house there. Let me put another one maybe here. Wait, what if we make a seashell pathway? That's such a good idea. So I'll grab all the seashells and we can like make a little pathway going to the beach with seashells. I'll grab these over here. We could also add like just a few rocks too, just to make it actually feel like a pathway. But we'll start with these and we can kind of see what it looks like. So I was thinking like, let's get some cobblestone and we'll also sprinkle just like a little bit of cobblestone around. Um, oh, there's another seashell. So we'll do like here, the one here, 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 here. We fill it with cobblestone. Oh wait, that looks so cool too. Cause it like blends in with the sand. And then we can kind of just like fill in the areas. Oh, and we can make them face like the way we want them to face too, I guess. What do we think? Is it kind of weird? Maybe, but I kind of like it too. And actually I think they should probably face different ways as well. Not just all the same way. I love the crabs everywhere. They're so cute. Okay, like that. I think that we should put a few more pieces of cobblestone too. Um, I was thinking about like a slab there. Actually, I feel like wood would look better. Wood would look better. Let's see if we... Okay, I was going to see if it did the connecty thing. It doesn't. So I actually don't think I'm going to do the wood. But I think the wood can look more like... I don't know. That feels more beachy, right? But we'll just do this. And it feels kind of like stepping stones or something. Maybe. With the seashells? I don't know. Are the seashells kind of dumb? Maybe. I don't even know if it actually looks like a pathway with the seashells. I was like, I don't know, it sounds so cool, but like it kind of doesn't, it didn't turn out like how I was expecting it to. Hmm, well, I think that will probably do away with the seashells. It was a good idea, but it just doesn't work, honestly. I think we will stick with the cobblestone though. I think the cobblestone looks good, but we just need a little bit more to actually make it look like a proper path. Okay, kind of. And then what if we did like an outline of seashells? Maybe. So we kind of just outline the pathway and the seashells instead. Okay, that, I mean, that kind of works, right? Maybe you only know that it's an outline because I told you it's an outline, not because it actually looks like one. But, you know, it's it's the thought that counts. Um, okay, we'll put it there. And then I guess I want another one here. Okay, uh, it kind of works. I'll leave it. What else? The interior, I guess, is the last thing that we need to add. Um, I do think it'd be cool to have... I keep on thinking these are like crabs. I don't know why. They just kind of look like crabs. Oh, not on this side. I was thinking that we could add um, a staircase because usually I would just do a ladder, but I feel like a staircase just feels more official, I guess. I'm kind of stuck down here. Okay, wait. Uh, we'll tower up. Let's grab some spruce stairs. Ah. 
And then also I kind of want to grab some barrels too. I think the barrels could look really cool underneath the stairs. I just like to do that. I think it looks so cool. So maybe seven will be enough. The wind chimes are so cute. Okay, hopefully this is enough space for a staircase. Because it's kind of small. Okay, it's going to have to be back a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, but this is just a very small house. So, you know, we're just going to have to make do with what we have. So we walk in and then we can go downstairs like so. And then the barrels. This is what I was talking about. I think it's just cool to add barrels here. I'll have to gra grab a couple more. But I just think that looks so cool, you know. Okay, it's just like... I'm so proud of myself. This is just such a different build. Like, I feel like I've never done a build really like this before, and I'm just really, really proud of it. Okay, I need more barrels. That's what I came here for. I think I need two more, and then we'll finally put our bed in the house. And we can actually sleep in our house tonight for the first time. So... I feel like the downstairs should be the bedroom and we actually need some uh some flooring in here not just sand though the sand kind of like feels a little bit it feels like so beach house um i honestly wouldn't mind like keeping a little bit of sand in here we'll see but maybe we'll make the floor spruce slabs again Oh, I want to live here. Don't you want to live here? Isn't this so cool? Okay, cool. Oh, I should have grabbed that wool because we can have made some carpets. Oh, there is one little sheep right there. So, you know, we might we might go over there. We might not. We'll see. Um, For the lantern, I was actually thinking about, like, knocking one of these barrels out and just, like, placing a lantern in there. What do you think about that? And then upstairs, I feel like we'll just do this. I'll have to get one more. But, hmm. It's not even, so we can't really, like, place it in the middle. Hmm. What if... Place it there? I mean, it's not perfect, but it's kind of just uneven and weird and awkward there anyway, so... I just be like that. And then we also don't have any andesite, so we can't actually you or make any of the kitchen blocks because you need andesite for that. See like the sink. Um, I guess we probably we might be able to make a sink. No, we can't even make a sink. See, you need uh polish andesite slabs. So we're going to be creative without the kitchen blocks. I think that honestly. It could be kind of cool to use like a coconut log. I think that could be kind of fun. Um, what else do we need upstairs? Obviously like chests. Um, I wouldn't mind making like a coconut crafting table. And like a coconut um, chair and table set. That could be cute. So we'll get a little bit more of this coconut plank. And then let's see how we make a table again. Mm, I wonder if we can make these out of mod. I think, yeah, these can't be modded. I think these are vanilla tables, but we can make these. So we need slabs and sticks. I think those can be used or like made with modded blocks. So let's see, slabs and sticks. Oh, can we not make a table with a coconut log? I don't think we can. Let's try this, a plank and some sticks. See if that works. Some planks and some sticks. Okay, wait, cool. Okay, we can do that one. And then now we need some chairs. So again, just a bit of trial and error here. I like the look of this chair the best. So slabs and sticks like this. Was it like that? Or did it have another slab? Mm. 
I think I had it right the first time. Okay, I guess we can't make that out of modded. Let's try this. Stick, slab, sticks. Slabs. Stick. And stick. Okay, can we not do that one either? I think we might have to do this one. So with planks. Planks and sticks. Planks and sticks. Okay, cool. We can do that. That will work. I probably didn't need six of them, but here we are. Okay, cool. Let's see what we can do with all this. So I was thinking that we could do some kind of like counter along here like this. And then, hmm, we, this is tight. It's very tight in here. So we're just gonna have to do the best we can with the space that we have. Ooh, this kind of doesn't blend in with the wall though. Ooh, okay. We might have to do dark oak because also the spruce will blend in with the floor. So let's go back and do some dark oak stuff. I think that will probably be the best call. So let's put this up. I just think it's gonna blend in too much with the wall. I don't think it's gonna look good, unfortunately. So let's see if I can remember these recipes. I probably won't be able to. Um. Okay, that's not right. Okay, that works. I'm fine with that. And then I know there's a chair that I need to make a couple more sticks. I know there, that there was a chair that looked like this. And I do like that chair. Better Nether? That's weird that that is in the Better Nether mod pack. But I like this chair better, so let's do this one. Okay. Cool. I want to make just a few more, actually. Is it like this? Yes. Okay, let's try that and see what that looks like. I think it's gonna maybe not clash, but I don't think it's gonna like look like it's not gonna be the best option. I'm sure there are better blocks, but you know, it's just what we have because like this coconut log just doesn't look good with the dark oak, I don't think. Like the actual log itself. But here we are. Um, actually, we're going to change this around again. We're going to put it here, I think. I guess the window, I think that's cute. Leave a little bit of space and do like that. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Um, and then I was thinking that like, we have an extra table. So we could do that, though you can make nice stands. So, how do we make nice sands? Nice shade. Okay, what is it called? A drawer. It's just called a drawer. We need slabs and a chest. But then I was also thinking we could put like a little decorative chair there, you know, just for just for funsies. And then we can get that um get that nice stand. So let's do that now. There's a lot of back and forth. Um, let me just try to clear my pockets a little bit. Okay, let's make a chest. And then slab, slab. There we go. And then what else? Some flower pots would be really cute, but we don't have clay, so we would have to go get clay. But we can put this here. See, a flower pot would be really cute on top of that. Um, and then I wanted to put a crafting table somewhere. Could place it here. It looks so bad against that. I'm gonna have to move it. We could put it here. Wait, that's not it. We could place it here and then also Place some like some a couple of uh, fences maybe I don't know we do have this globe so let's place this globe here it's kind of fun um maybe we can like 
find a place for this downstairs. Um, it works, right? <laughs> that kind of works. And then, can we make cupboards? No, we cannot. We need uh, those andesite slabs. But there are other, like, let me look, a, look up cabinet. Okay, we can make these. Darko cabinet. We need trapdoors and slabs. Let's make a couple of those. So some of those, some of these. Is it like this? And then like this? Oh, that just makes one. Okay, it's kind of expensive. I think I at least want three. So here's another one. Okay. Let's place those down. Right here. Cute. Okay, I like that kind of. It does kind of look like you would find that in a school, you know? Honestly, I don't think I can do this. I wanted to do the coconut log so bad because it's kind of fun, but I don't think I can do it. I just think it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't match. Um, and then the question is, do we want to strip this or not? I think we'll strip it. I mean, I already did it, but I think that's probably the right decision. Really, the last thing that this place needs is some rugs and just like a flower pot or two. Let's go to sleep first. And then maybe we can find some clay real fast and we can have some little flower pots. I feel like that is a must have in a house for sure. If we're not gonna have rugs, we at least have to have flower pots. So, we just had to, we had to find a wee river. Um, here is one and I think that's clay right there actually. So we'll just swim on right over here. And we don't really need that much, honestly. Just a little bit. Just enough for a few flower pots. Whoa, that looks like a cave in there. 28 is enough, right? 36. What is 36 divided by 3? Hmm, let's do some math here together. Is that... That's not 9. Um... 36, is that 12? That's 12. Okay, so we can make 12 flower pots. Perfect. I don't think we'll need to be making 12, but we could. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize, but there's lanterns here. So I was like freaking out about not having enough lanterns. There are literally so many lanterns right there. And we could have definitely snagged a few. Speaking of the lanterns over here, is there anything that we can take to put in our little house? Like the candles? I'm, I'm gonna take some candles. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. And then we will have to light them. So we need a we need a flint and steel. I don't think there was a flint and steel around. But like all those lanterns, there are so many. Okay, let's see. We do have one last piece of iron and we don't have any flint oh my gosh okay let's try to find some flint because i want to be able to light the candles right so back on over there i guess i don't think there's any oh there's gravel right here okay give me some flint please oh perfect thank you and I think the orange will be nice, too. The orange candles, I think it'll look pretty good. Oh, wait, can we take the cake? I think that once you place a cake, then, you know, it's just there. I don't think you can pick it up. But that would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, clear out some more inventory space. We have one white wool. 
Can we make a lamp with one white wool? No, we need three. Okay, I was hoping, but we cannot. That's okay. Okay, a few flower pots. And then do we have any more flowers? Okay, we do have a crocus and an iris. And then we have these coconut saplings. That'd be so cool if we could place them in. I feel like we won't be able to, but that would be really cool. And I feel like the, the spruce sapling, that just does not fit the vibe at all. So we want to do the spruce sapling. Okay, so we need to place one here, I believe. And let's just see if we can place the coconut. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's like a little baby palm tree. I love that. That is so cool. Okay, and we'll place a an iris here. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, maybe we'll place another coconut sapling here because that is like, or maybe we should place it here. But that is literally the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, I love that. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. Okay, um, well, since I know that, I have to get at least one more coconut sapling. Please, please, please. Okay, so many. And I want to place some outside, I think. Because, again, that's just, like, the cutest darn thing I've ever seen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hmm, we can place one here. So cute. And then I was thinking about, like, getting rid of this and then placing one here. Because isn't that just so cool? Oh, I love. And then we can place, like, one here. I know it's kind of in the walkway, but I don't care at all. Oh, my gosh. Look at our beach house. That's so cool. I'm actually so happy with it. And the inside, yes, we definitely need some wool so we can have some little carpets. But, like, the inside turned out pretty good, too. It's not perfect, but I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, wait, we need one more stair. I can't just leave that stairless. And it, I definitely, like, I'm going to add some vibrant colors of wool. And then we can add, like, vibrant colors of curtains that could be really cool too because i think it inside is definitely pretty dark but i think that if we had some like purples and like blues like a light blue like carpet light blue maybe even like purple curtains light blue carpet like that could look really good just that make it feel more beachy inside because it definitely doesn't feel that beachy honestly and then the same thing downstairs like some really cute curtains and a carpet but you know we just don't have that right now um but let me know what you think about oh wait oh wait oh my gosh i almost forgot i almost forgot that would have been so sad our candles can we put candles okay perfect we can put candles up there we'll light those we'll put one candle here whoa and then uh we can put candles here too right at the base of your bed that feels like a fire hazard but that's that's okay okay cool so happy Anyways, let me know what you think about the beach house. I'm so happy with it. I think it looks so good. But I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this little long play. I know it's a bit of a mess back here, but that's okay because we'll never be in this world again, which is kind of sad because honestly, I am really starting to like this world. It's really cute, isn't it? And like we even have so many diamonds and stuff. Like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Also, what is this pillager doing? Like, what are you doing? Go home. You don't want to just belong out in the middle of the ocean. But I am going to go ahead and wrap it up here, I think. I hope that you have enjoyed this long play. And I hope that I have been able to provide you a little bit of company. But if you haven't already, then be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other long plays if you haven't already. But I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching slash listening. Bye.